Okay. Hi guys. Uh, this is Alexina. Um, I just got back from West Wheel. The event was pretty rad. Awesome people were definitely met and reunited with. There's a, there's a lot of people that you end up meeting online and just never see them until you're actually at an event in person, which is pretty rad. Uh, people keep asking about my little side patch, side pack slash dump pouch or whatever you would call this. Um, let's do a quick unboxing of everything because throughout the event I've dumped in, throughout riding over time, I've dumped it multiple times and I've got holes here at the bottom and pretty much everything's starting to become more and more dilapidated. So I'm going to be getting a new pouch soon. So I'll probably share with you guys on my Instagram or something like that whatever I end up getting in replacement of this, but I'll show you what I've been carrying for the past year or multiple years or so within this pouch and also my regular everyday carry. Uh, yeah, let's get it started. So first on my person, I usually have a hat just to at least control the hair that I don't bother cutting or whatever. Um, it's nice when you're riding fast and if you're being an idiot once in a while without a helmet, uh, you have something that doesn't, you know, that keeps your hair out of the way from your eyes and keeps you safe. Uh, in my pockets, I've got three knives because why not be excessive? Uh, Benchmade Infidel, that's a great time. I've got the Fox Dart. That one I love because it's easy to sharpen with a Tanto blade. Then I've got a little Gerber folding knife. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's a, it's a box cutter. And it's served me many a times. So I'll put those off to the side. Uh, along with that, I'll carry a regular carabiner. This one's the Night Eyes with a little slide lock type of deal that keeps it from opening after you throw that thing in a little notch. Uh, what else do I have? I've got a mask because COVID. Seth, my buddy Seth made me this one. It's a Spaceballs the mask. It's pretty cool. Uh, left bucket. Car keys. Uh, knockoff key bar. This one's made by Keytech. But it's nice just to organize however many keys. This one's made to do up to like 10 keys at a time. Uh, what else do we have? In the pockets, that's it. Uh, holsters, these are by LD West. Um, use code LAW to save 20% off your first purchase of holsters over there. And Yeah, they're, they're, they're pretty neat. It's nice when you don't have to sit on a wallet or have to worry whether or not you have your phone and wallet on you, on your person, just because if you're feeling slightly off balance, then there you go, it's not there. Uh, yeah, it's great. Look, They look awesome with a suit. Uh, let's get uh, cracking this thing open. We'll start off with the outside. So the outside of this, um, this was originally a tiny backpack that I found at like a Five Below or some kind of Japanese equivalent of a Five Below. Um, I got it for like four bucks. Uh, it used to be like a tiny backpack with full size straps. I reduced all the straps down, just like tied them into a whole bunch of knots and then tacked those down with a little bit of string. Um, I figured it, ever, it would come in handy, so I didn't bother cutting it off at all. I guess you could use this as a belt loop if you really wanted to. Um, I've got this little uh, hook that I found at Home Depot for like two bucks and then slapped that thing on. This is a timber bell, so when I'm riding, I can kind of slap it off to the side, and then if there's any jumps or anything of that nature, then this thing will at least be there to alert any pedestrians or anybody that I'm not trying to yell at to please get out of the way. Um, I can, yeah, let's just cut them off. I used a bunch of hair ties to uh, mount them on, which is definitely not the standard way of doing it, but hair ties are great because um, you can use them as gear ties or anything else really around. Just got to get these off without cutting myself.
yeah, it's just a random hook. There's no serious utility of it, but it's nice because you can throw it on a belt loop easy. Uh, you could throw it on your belt. Just allows you to clip it onto bags and make it useful. Uh, these had regular zipper pulls before, but what I did was I took a little tiny keychain carabiners and then ended up using those because if I ever wanted to attach like tiny keychains or anything like small tools or whatever to those uh, side uh, the sides of it for like quick access then they'd be there. Uh, let's get into the pockets. So we'll start with a small pocket. Uh, I've got buttons. Uh, people ask around every once in a while for them and then I just make them every so often. Uh, just Law's biggest fan. I thought it was stupid so it's just funny seeing people smiles when they end up looking at them. Uh, along with that I've got a phone charger, USB plug, in case I ever find myself near a wall. Um, these are Nog lights. These are supposed to be for bicycles. It has like a little magnetic piece that you can attach to a bike tube or something like that. It had, it had originally two rubber elastic bands that I would end up using for other purposes but yeah it's magnetic um there's a small gap right here and then that allows for that allows for you to be able to put it around a belt loop you can take it without the clip and pretty much slide it onto a shirt and it's just a quick button activated type of deal oftentimes i end up throwing it on a holster and then passing it behind up just fell down but it's okay you have the other <laughs> carry two just in case you're an idiot and then drop it but yeah you can clip it little magnet holds it back and you have a rear light whenever you're riding um let's turn that off along with that i keep a tiny pair of scissors i was extremely amused when i first saw these uh and I just decided to keep them on. They're useful. Uh, we have knives for everything else, but every once in a while you want to not scare everybody via using something that's more commonly used to cut things. Uh, this is the Crank Boys M10. Uh, it has a whole bunch of Allen keys, and along with that, yeah, just Allen keys, Phillips, flathead, standard tools, just to tear either a bike or a wheel down. Uh, just a quick thing to quick thing to crank things closed and open river. This is a bolt action pen that I got. I lost the knob and it fell off again. But yeah, it was just a small pen. It's just nice to have when you need to write something down or write anywhere else. Yeah, it had a little ball tip on it because it was a bolt action. It was pretty cool. But that's gone now, and it can always be replaced. I found it at PBK Knives, some knife shop over here in Vegas. It's pretty rad. So into the big pocket, we have our gloves. Um, I'm using these SPX. I don't recall the exact, uh, or is Al Al Alpine Stars? That was it. Um, they're great gloves. I like something with a little slider. Uh, the Knox Orsas are my favorite. I've got them over this way. As soon as those things completely crap out, I'm going to be swapping over to these. Uh, these have two pucks rather than the single one, and having something to slide against the ground is definitely safer than having your wrist clip on the ground and then eventually breaking it with the fr extra friction and extra force. Uh, along with that, the Knox Orsas have this, their boa technology where you can twist this little knob and that kind of tightens down on the wrist and reduces the amount of flexion so that'll reduce some suck of any landing you just pull that knob and then it releases it's cool um on my left gloves on all the moto gloves and wrist guards that i have ever used so far i take a pebble time watch and i mount it off to the side um the reason I don't use it on a wrist mount is because when I'm riding, uh, your natural position is hands in front of you, and then, or if, if you're at like the higher speeds and you want to constantly monitor, 
um, rather than having to turn my wrist because being like a flat panel it's usually on the back or the front of your wrist so you don't have to turn as much or make like just make unnecessary effort um, my sight picture when I'm like just holding the uh, or holding my hands up I, I already can see where my wrists are or I, I could already see where the screen is and it does a beautiful job only thing is the battery dies out a little bit faster than I'd like, but that's just a matter of it being older. Uh, darn Fitbit's trying to take it over. They're buying out Pebble. Uh, I keep a power bank. That's a good time if there are no outlets. Um, awesome, I just found a little knob <laughs> that goes onto the bolt action pen. So that's going to get twisted back on right now before I end up losing it and forgetting it again. But yeah, you see that? It just twists and then kind of locks into place. And whenever you're done, you just flick it. It's good to go. Um, these are extra straps for the uh, holsters. So if you're like riding a bike, then it stays completely secure. That didn't count. That's a technop. There you go. Yeah, it stays completely secure when you're riding and then... You don't have to worry about these uh, dangling around, or if you're running, I guess, with the holsters, then I guess they could help you too. Um, I just keep them handy just in case if I ever decide to use them. This is a uh, endotracheal uh, stylet for uh, pretty much uh, ET tubes. I'm a surgical tech by trade, and I we ended up getting rid of these because they expired and then I ended up seeing the little metal stylets within them I'm like okay I could use these to fish rocks out of my wheels if I ever get get them caught um, there was one time I used it back in New York for uh, is either oh, who's that was uh, Francisco's MSP <laughs> that one uh, ended up getting a little surprise in there so we fished the rock out and we were good to go um, it's just a flexible metal you can sub it for either like a metal coat hanger or I guess a large paper clip if that'll work but then again you want something that's longer so I'd probably just say get a wire coat hanger and just cut it up I'll put it off to the side and that's pretty much it for this um, I do have way more items within my backpack that I use for reg regular rides or anything serious so eventually we're gonna get a video coming out either on my buddy Ali's channel or maybe Yuko or I don't know some channel it'll show up if I make a channel then there you go it'll you might see this even this video up there we'll, we'll find out in a bit but uh anyways that's the this pouch um you'll, you'll see a new one in due time and Eventually you'll see pictures or whatever about it. Maybe an update video extended to this. We'll find out what happens uh, Anyways, and until next time uh, Bye Love you